we said 2022. Uh, these are the people that we have contacted already for this project. Um, these are our personal contacts if uh, you would like to contact us personally about um, something else in this project. And thank you for considering our project. Thank you. Thank you. Planning and Zoning Commissioners have any questions for the students about their project and now is a good opportunity to ask those questions. Did you have any specific kind of plants in mind for the flower? Oh, uh, we would want to do perennials so that they would grow back every year and so that they wouldn't have to keep replacing them. This is the next one. Mr. Johnson, is this correct? This Roman? Is and there's a clicker for you, so you can advance. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of this fine city. Today, I, Roman Guthrie McNerney, and my co-partners, Elaine Perk, Jake Miller, and two individuals who sadly could not have made it today, Kenton Ferguson and Asher Pack, present to you a beautification and, and entertainment project. This would include a city mural and a basketball half court. This basketball half court would be placed in certain city parks or other locations with a mural of Raptor Mountain as seen in the reference behind it. Today I will outline the supply costs and construction costs from help with my co-partner Elaine Craig who specifically researched into the supply costs. The main bulk of the supplies needed for the mural will be painting supplies, paint, paint brushes, paint rollers, etc, etc. Also included are more quality of life items such as a step ladder for reaching harder to reach areas if needed. All of these go into creating the mural itself. Now, the mural would be, like said earlier, a reference of Gotham City Mountain, which I believe is one of the greatest landmarks of our area. We have contacted, contacted local artists, as you can see in the proposal, and we have also talked to the graphic design class of North Idaho STEM Charter Academy, who have graciously allowed them their help in this project. In front of this mural, we would have a basketball court. This basketball court would consist of a pro dunk hoop, which consists of stencil, a stencil kit. This stencil kit outlines the three-point line and the free throw line. It would also come with rust-free boards, which help fight against corrosion and the weathers. Now, the pro dunk hoop comes around at $2,300. This is very pricey, but it beats its competitor in one main area. The pro dunk hoop has a certification against dunking and rim handling. Over time, normal basketball hoops, when an individual dunks on it or hangs onto the rim, the rim deteriorates. This pro dunk hoop will not do that, allowing for it to last much longer. If this was not added, then over the next few years, repairments or even a removal of the whole basketball hoop might be needed. In order to create the actual half court, which would be around 40 feet by 21 feet, we would first need to lay out gravel. After contacting certain construction companies, we have found out that it would cost some $2,000 for the gravel and labor costs. On top of this gravel, we would lay the asphalt, which is the actual playing field of the area. Once again, it would be around $2,000. Finally, we would need a light amount of concrete in order to install the hoop into the ground to make sure it stays steady and sturdy. This basketball hoop and city and mural would be added to certain locations, which via uh, help from Eric Singer, we have found out certain locations. One of them would be Majestic Park, which has a current main building, which could benefit from a mural and a basketball court nearby. Other locations such as Ratham City Park, Ratham Skate Park, Stubmeyers Park, and even City Hall, if the new one is built in time, could all benefit from a beautiful mural. mural. Now, we have come to this conclusion that Idaho is growing rapidly in population and popularity. And personally, in my opinion, 
Idaho, the main point of Idaho is the small cities and communities where people can thrive instead of family. If we had a beautiful mural added on top of a basketball hoop, which would bring individuals of all ages to perks, this would be a great aspect to the city. I believe my proposal, which would take around one to two months and cost around $8,573, would be a great value to this community. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to listen to me. Thank you so much. No, we would choose one certain location okay. that you yourselves could decide or I could decide. Um, does your proposal include costs for the artists or for the graphic design or are they willing to do that? The graphic design, especially Mr. Johnson leads the, gra leads the graphic design class, they'd be willing to do it for free and we have the paint supply costs for the proposal. Awesome. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank no. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys want to see this probably? Can you guys see it? <coughs> I can see it. Like, just a little bit turn. Our afternoon civics class was given the opportunity from the city of Rathburn to make or add a change with a budget upwards of $10,000. We collectively, as a class, decided to utilize this budget towards an improvement to the current Rathburn disc golf course located on the mountain. The current disc golf course that is located on the mountain is, as you can see in this picture, a nine hole course that is considered small by some people and our first revision to this design was to add nine more holes and creating this 18 hole design which is much bigger and easier to access. We contacted City Parks and Rec's Eric Singer to propose another location if this location was not able to work out and he gave us this location which we made another 18 hole course for that to work out. The few main points that we changed when making our new course. So the biggest one is that we changed it from a nine hole course to an 18 hole course. But it's not only an 18 hole course. The both proposed locations have a shortcut where you can cut it short and play a nine hole course if so choose. We also increased the length between each holes for longer games and more diversity between each round. We also added new tee pads and some new baskets to this course. There's one main thing we'd like to add for, to decorate our course, which is our welcome or entrance sign. As can be seen in the sketch, it will have two brick pillars that are 42 inches tall and 16 by 16 inches wide. It will have a metal plate sign with a wooden arch on top overhanging it. The letters will be engraved in the metal with a laser cutter that says Raptor Mountain Disc Golf Course. We also plan to have other decorations such as flowers and trailings. So we were given a $10,000 budget to keep this within, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the nine, well, the nine baskets that are already in the course and if need be moved to the new location. Since they're put in the ground, we have to take, we have to get new posts that we can put into the ground and the way the baskets work is they lock into the ground so you can take it out and move it to another location as long as you have the base part. So for the first nine, we only need that base part. The other nine, 
we have to buy ourselves. Also, we're planning on using 18 rubber tee pads. The course currently does not have any tee pads. So this would both be cost efficient and give the tee pads. And so we also need concrete to put the baskets in the ground. And that is, we've calculated that into our total, including labor costs to do that, as, as well as the possibility of other costs for su things such as cutting down trees, that sort of labor as well. And in total, that would come out to about $8,300, which gives us $1,700 as a cushion, as well as to use for possible extra course design. And also another thing is that some of the trees up there could be once cut down used for lumber that the city could sell to gain extra funding for either this project or the general use. During this project, we contacted a lot of people, including Eric Singer from Parks and Rec. He gave us a lot of information about this course, including the possible location that we would be moving to, and also a lot of the information, like he told us that the original course used $9,000. So that gave us a kind of a baseline, as well as a sign company for the entrance sign and the concrete company that I mentioned earlier for the actual concrete cost. Thank you for listening to this. It, we really appreciate you putting, you giving us your time and listening. And we would really appreciate it if you chose our project, but if not, so be it. <laughs>
timeline it would take. And the irrigation would take around one to two weeks to install. But this really will vary with the company that we would choose. And the flower bed would take one to two weeks as well. The park, the sidewalks and the pathways, which could be removed or added, would take one to three weeks to install. And the fountain itself would take at least three weeks. There are several features that could be added in addition to the fountain, and these can be seen on page six of the handout. They include plants around the fountain and planters, pathways around the fountain ranging from one to four, benches on these pathways, a sign with either a dedication or part of the history of Rathdrum written on it, and the material of these features as well as the fountain itself could change, and the location could also be changed. Of course, with any building, here it comes, prices. Water ir slash irrigation would cost from $1,250 to $3,750. The concrete or pavement could, could cost $5 per square foot plus the additional services needed. The flower bed is the probably one of the most expensive items, costing from $1,000 to $3,000. The fountain itself would cost $4,000 to $6,000, and repairs and maintenance would cost $1,300 to $1,500. The total cost min minimally would be $7,650, and the, the price max, including all variations, would be about $12,850. So now that we've discussed some of the major details of this project, where are we going to put it? Well, we think that a fountain with proper landscaping would be a nice addition to a park in the area that doesn't already have such a feature. The top four we'd recommend are Raptor City Park, Thayer Park, Stubmeyer Park, and Majestic Park. What you saw there were images from Google Earth and the web. Here are the parks on Google Earth. I mean, yeah, Google Maps. Here's Raptor City Park, Thayer Park, Sudmeyer Park and Majestic Park. And we can go back and look at those after the presentation if you do. Now it is worth mention, mentioning that Rackham City Park already has a fountain. Here is a picture of it. But it has a different um, layout, if you should say. It's more of an it has more of a natural look, it resembles a waterfall. So yeah, it does already have a fountain, but you know, we can still add it. We we still add it out this fountain to to um, Rapture City Park. I mean variation is nice. Um, and a good question to ask would be, who's going to create and install it? Well, here, here is a list of some possible companies that we researched that we think would be up for the job. Latitude Landscape and Irrigation is a company that specializes in installing landscapes, sprinkler systems, patios, retaining walls, and much more, and they also include a fall cleanup. Tumblestone Rock Fountains is a company that participates in shipping rock throughout the U.S. and Canada. According to their website, they showcase the, the Northwest's largest collection of basalt fountains and bowls, rock fountains, stone benches, landscape supplies, pottery scene, and a lot more. They also take custom orders. Outdoor Art Pros. They are a company that specializes in outdoor decor. They focus more on relaxation pieces, um, stress reduction, but this also includes fountains, pottery, planters, fire pits, and more. And, um, they also accept custom orders. And finally, Empire Patio Covers. This is probably a company we would only reach out to if we have money left over after installing the fountain landscapes, since they're a business that sells um, covers for patio furniture and decor. So as you all know, during the winter, the fountain needed some way to be protected. So we could um, reach out to them and get a cover for the fountain to put on during the winter. I found one on their website that is 30 by 30 by 45. Uh, it's currently um, on sale, there's a holiday sale. It is now $20.99, so the original price $34.99. So yeah, we can save a whole lump in six bucks. If we <laughs> <laughs> Here is where we're excited, and that will conclude our presentation. Thank you for your time. We hope that you'll seriously consider our improvements towards Rathdrum. Is there any questions we could answer regarding the fountain? Did you consider 3D printing the fountain? No, yeah, we kind of did. <laughs> Just, but you know, I, one, I think but. it would be a, a tad too big in real life. <laughs> and then make bigger 3D printers. <laughs> you do it. We could Add try modules. it. Those would probably be, I'm sure those won't be like more expensive. I, I think concrete is the way to go, honestly. Yeah. 
I can't see that very well. Oh, you want me to hold stand up and how much would that fountain way be in concrete? And how much concrete would be used? That is a good question. There might it might be on the blueprints, um, but honestly, we've not done that calculation yet. That is definitely needs to be taken into consideration. So thank you. We wouldn't have looked at that probably. Yeah. Okay.